The cleanup continues across the Maritimes this morning after post-tropical storm Lee moved up the coast this weekend. <laughs> Crews are out this morning restoring power to the thousands of people who are still in the dark. Lee hit Nova Scotia and New Brunswick as a powerful tropical storm, bringing in strong winds. But damage really seemed to be limited to homes and buildings. At its peak, there were 277,000 power customers in Nova Scotia in the dark, tens of thousands more in New Brunswick and on PEI. So let's begin our coverage this morning with Brett Ruskin. He's been covering Lee all weekend. Uh, back in Halifax live. Obviously, we can see behind you much calmer day today. But why don't we start our coverage this morning? Sort of a status update, Brett. Where do where do things stand and how is the power situation this morning? Good morning. That's right. As you mentioned, 277,000 people at its peak without electricity, 277,000 customers, whether that's homes or businesses. But but take a look behind me here. It's just one example of the damage that we've seen. That shack there shouldn't be falling into the water. This dock here shouldn't be just floating there hanging just by a simple line. Those are just some of the uh, some of the examples of the damage that the storm surge, those strong waves and wind had. Overall, though, a, a, a storm that didn't have the same kind of punch that we may have anticipated. That's not to say it was not a, a major storm, to be sure. Still near hurricane strength winds, 117 kilometers per hour. That was the strongest winds measured. That was at the Halifax International Airport. 117, if we had hit 119, that's the level for category one hurricane strength winds. So almost that category one level uh, compared to Fiona that we saw last year. This certainly isn't the same kind of strength, although people were and I'm anticipating we're perhaps a little bit worried with that so fresh in everyone's minds here on the East Coast. That storm again that knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of people that caused hundreds of millions of dollars of damage. Now, uh, so residents, you know, for the most part dealing with the wind and the rain. Here's one resident that we spoke with uh, over the weekend. What worries most of us is that there's so many large trees here. You, you kind of anticipate something falling or hitting and so on. But uh, we're just anxious to get the electricity. That's what we're all relating, I'm pretty sure, as I speak to my neighbors, right? Because you get, there's not, we live in electricity, right? And so again, electricity is the main topic of discussion, I suppose. I just checked 21,000 customers as of right now without electricity, waking up right now without that power, mostly from kind of the Shelburne, Nova Scotia area up to Halifax here and farther up the eastern shore as well. But crews have been out kind of all whenever they could, whenever the winds die down a little bit, they could get up in those bucket trucks to make those fixes. So overall, a big chunk of the outages resolved. Still 21,000 customers, though, still in the dark. Heather. Brett, we had been expecting a bit of a tale of two provinces. The wind was to be the story in Nova Scotia. In New Brunswick, the situation was the rain. Did that end up materializing there? Yeah, and actually, so that was kind of the, the thing that we were hearing from meteorologists and weather experts here, uh, where more rain on the left-hand side of the track, more wind on the right-hand side of the track. And I was right as the track was coming on to land roughly, kind of in the Yarmouth Shelburne area. So I got to see both, lucky me. Uh, but there was lots of rain in the Yarmouth area and then continuing on to New Brunswick with saturated uh, kind of lawns and grasses and, and roadways. Lots of trees came down there because of the combination of that wet earth and strong winds. Again, here on the right hand side from Shelburne up, those strong wind gusts causing those trees to blow against power lines, blow against power transformers. We saw sparks and small explosions of transformers in the Halifax area blowing that causing those outages there. So uh, the track works its way pretty much as forecasters were predicting. And again, the storm now pretty much dissipating off into the St. Lawrence area. Heather. Thank you very much, Brett. Brett live in Halifax.